Aloha. Aloha. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome for our 10-year anniversary of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. And a round of applause for our veterans in attendance here this morning. Thank you, veterans, for your service. At this time, we call up to the stage the East Hawaii Regional Board Chair, Dr. Daniel Belcher, to provide today's welcome message. On behalf of the East Hawaii Regional Board of the Hawaii Health System Corporation, I welcome all of you to the 10-year anniversary of our Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. I would like to sincerely thank our honored veterans and their families, our legislatures, and those representing offices of our leaders of the government, including special guests from the armed services and veterans groups for attending this special milestone. I am the chairman of the East Hawaii Regional Board of the corporation that runs the state hospitals. We manage the critical access hospitals at Pahala Honoka, our main facility at the Hilo Medical Center, various clinics, and this Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home that we are celebrating the 10th year anniversary. It's fitting that our state veterans home is named after Yukio Okutsu, who was, is a Hilo hero from World War II who received the Medal of Honor. And we have some of his family here. Can you stand up, Tracy and your sister? Sorry to put Tracy on the spot, but we play Mukuli soccer together, and she usually is scoring on me. I'm a goalie. Mr. Okutsu lived not too far from here, over on Kamana Drive, and Hilo was very blessed to have a veteran's home for, our, for services for our veterans. We are managed by Avalon Healthcare, and our facility has received a five-star quality rating by Medicare, the highest rating for quality that Medicare gives. And this level of quality only comes from a daily focus on the care of our veterans and continuous improvement of their care. We have a dedicated and hardworking staff here at the uh, Veterans Home from the maintenance, housekeeping, nursing, social work activities, and administration. Without the hard work and compassionate care of our staff, the level of care of our veterans would not be possible. Avalon has recently had their contract renewed and we expect continued high level of care for our veterans and their spouses here. I must thank the leaders of our community who had the initial vision for our veterans home and the hard work that it led to what you see here. It's hard to believe that it's 10 years old, it still looks pretty new. The veterans here receive daycare service for their families while the families work and they return home for their care for the rest of the time with their families. We also give skilled nursing for short-term recovery after surgery or illness and long-term care when they cannot be cared for at home. I personally have been blessed by this facility. My father was a Naval veteran in the South Pacific Theater during World War II and later through the GI Bill of Rights went to school and became a psychiatrist and was the state psychiatrist here for many years. Later on in his life, he spent the last five years of his life here. And it's my feeling and my family's feeling that he lived as long as he did and as well as he did for the exceptional care that he received here. Uh, when we could no longer care for him at home, this facility was here for him. He was always very pleased with the care we received, and we were very happy that he was here in our community because most of his kids still live here. And we were able to visit him when we wanted to. <clears throat> but our facility is only part of the, the need for our veterans. We have the outpatient clinic just up the street that supplies services for our veterans in the outpatient sitting. What we are missing is a retirement home. I know there is a group trying to build such a retirement home over by the university, and I would encourage everybody to support that. Therefore, I would like to thank all of you for being here, for celebrating our 10th anniversary. 
But most importantly, I would like to thank our veterans for the service, loyalty, and sacrifice they gave. Because without it, we would not be here. We would not have the freedoms and the privileges and the quality of life that we have. Again, I thank you for coming. And you notice we have our usual Hilo rain. Thank you. He mentioned about uh, Mr. Okutsu, and he did mention about him being a recipient of the Medal of Honor. And again, he was with the famed 442nd. Here is the actual Medal of Honor. If you've never seen one, you'll be able to take a look at it at a leisure. But there it is. On behalf of the family, thank you so much. And again, a very exclusive club doing the utmost for God and country. At this time, we ask the CEO of the East Hawaii region of the Hawaii Health Systems Corporation, Mr. Dan Brinkman, to come up and say a few words. Aloha. You got to love the rain, and uh, you got to make sure you look good when you're wet. So hopefully, I look good when I'm wet. You know, uh, Dr. Belcher said many of the things that, uh, um, that I, I thought I would also mention, so I, I won't uh, unnecessarily repeat that, but it is definitely an honor to and a responsibility to um, have this organization be part of the East Hawaii region and be part of the 10 years of service to our veterans. Um, I also want to, you know, echo the acknowledgement of the family and of Yukio Okutsu and his contributions. And um, we hope, and we actually we don't hope, but we will honor your grandfather and all that we do on the go forward. Um, and for all that's been done for our state veterans and acknowledge their contributions uh, to our community. Um, we have shared this responsibility over the last 10 years with Avalon Healthcare. And uh, today I think we are joined by Regional Vice President of the Hawaii Region, Steve Gold. Steve. And uh, the gentleman that's uh, responsible for the day-to-day -day running and pays close attention to make sure that the, the facility offers great care consistently, Mr. David Pettijohn. David, are you here? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. See, he's trying to make sure he looks good in when he's wet as well. Okay. And um, these gentlemen, the administrators of our home, along with the dedicated staff, have provided excellent and committed care for our veterans. And I will echo what Dr. Belcher said about the care being five star. You know, that is the highest rating that you can achieve and it's been one that has been achieved uh, over and over again. And having um, some familiarity with what it takes to run a high quality organization, that level of commitment uh, is something that is 24 seven. And I wanna acknowledge Avalon and their efforts to um, provide the quality of care that our veterans deserve. Uh, we will be continuing that relationship and I also want to acknowledge their um, efforts in putting on this celebration here today. So thank you and uh, aloha again. Thank you very much. At this time we call on Kahu Kimu Awai to perform our opening protocol. Kevili na kakahiya kaya oko pakahiya pao aloha kako. You know, ten years ago I was asked to come and dedicate the building when it um, when it was finished. And following customs and traditions of our people, you know, we had that, at that time governor coming and she had to bury one fish. And then state senators had to come and they had to bury the other fish. And I know that the bones of those fish are still at the at the doorway of the building. First and foremost, I bring the wishes of some 12,000 elementary school children here with me today as the Director of Hawaiian Studies for East Hawaii. And with it is the aloha and the thankfulness that they have for the actions taken by their ancestors for the sake of themselves, for their freedom. So today, if you don't mind, I am going to do the opening protocol linking past, present, and future together in one moment.
Kino mai na vai mo i wai luku i lua lu i na ka na ka I au mai vai o lama A ka i ka mana o i te aloha i noho aloha i ti motu o la I o la e na kini e Le aloha e E aloha e kie E aloha kakou e Mahalo For those of you that are able, would you please rise as the Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Challenge Academy does the presenting and posting of the colors. At this time, we ask you to remain standing for Hawaii Ponoi and the National Anthem, sung by the Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Exchange Academy, Hilo. Big round of applause. The Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Challenge Academy Hilo.
one more hand for Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Challenge Academy, Hilo. At this time, he was here at the beginning, and here he is on the 10th anniversary. We bring up our Honorable Mayor Harry Kim to say a few words. I was trying to make sure I don't get uh, too much of pass. But it was Senator Danny Noy that was in our office over 10 years ago with some local veterans. And I don't see them here because uh, they're the ones that pushed it uh, to convince the senator. And I remember what was said of appeal to this man who did so much for this country and this state and this island. He said, just think about it, Senator. The state of Hawaii, what he has done in war and the people that have suffered in war. And we don't have a veteran's home, a hospital home. Hosp uh, hospital is tripler. Hope to have a retirement home soon. And I learned a lot that day because they pointed out that there were only three states in the whole United States that didn't have a veteran's home. And I thought, how can that be? And these guys pushed, circulated, petitioned, the whole works. Hey, Yukio. And here we are. And going back to Senator Noah, because these were the people that pushed it for you and for all veterans and their family, he stated in the congressional appropriation that that home will be in Hilo. There's people, some people in Oahu wanted it there for obvious reasons. That's where Tripler and the bulk of the population were. But they couldn't change that even though they tried, really, because they thought it would be better off there. But as Senator Noy said, it shall be in Hilo. So I'm forever grateful you know, to him uh, for this home to be in Hilo. And I really thought it should be here uh, because of the kind of care that you would receive in a smaller town. Like, look at this crowd here. For you veterans, you know, all the thank you in the world won't say anything in regards to what we feel of what you've done. I am old enough to say I was born before World War II, so you know of all the different kinds of wars and suffering of people. And it wasn't that long ago that I was asked to talk to uh, the 442 group. And this is what I told them, and this is what I say to all veterans. Before the 442, and all the local people my age, a little older and younger, will know what I'm talking about. Before the 442, there was very little reason to be proud of who you are. And I see nod, heads nodding, nodding rather, and you know what I'm talking about. Then came the 442 and the gopher broke and all of those nice things in regards to a people who were of Oriental and mainly Japanese. And as I told that group there, I was addressing them, I speak in behalf of the tens and tens of thousands that you made feel just a little better of being who they are. It was you for the first time, a boys and, that were not, that there were Japanese and Orientals that really felt good about being who they are. You brought pride to them because of what you did and we will forever thank you. And to all veterans, we who benefit from what you have done, we should never forget that. When you look at this home, it was the veterans that used their own money, their own time to convince us in government we need a home. It should be the other way around. It is us as civilians who should be pushing for the veterans of what they need. 
And to all of you and all of us, today and tomorrow, we should never forget that. When we ask these young men and women to go out there for us, we owe them everything we can to make sure they are prepared. And when they come back, to provide them the services that they deserve. To this hospital, to this home weather, I cherish the five-star rating that was promised 10 years ago that you will make this place for the people here will be proud of it. And we are proud of you. We thank you for what you do to the veterans and for the veterans. Thank you very much. Continuing on with our remarks here on our 10th anniversary of the Yuki Okutsu Veterans Home, we bring up the governor's liaison for the island of Hawaii, Mr. Dennis Onishi. Good morning, everyone. You know, I, I can remember, you know, I, I'm going off the subject, but I used to be a council member here, and I remember coming here when the facility opened up with like there were like four to five patients at the time and during that time they didn't I guess have all the certifications but as you can see now with the members that are in front of us it has grown to capacity so that's really great to see that this happening but I'm honored to be here celebrating the 10th anniversary for the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home on behalf of Governor David Ige. Governor Ige sends his apologies for not being able to attend this special event. But Governor Ige has a special message for you. On behalf of the state of Hawaii, I send my heart, heartfelt aloha and congr congratulations to the staff and residents of the Kio Okutsu Veterans Home on its 10th anniversary. It is the first and currently the only post-acute care facility offering 24 hours skilled nursing services to our Hawaii veterans. The facility is proudly named for the World War II veteran Yukio Okutsu, a Kaloa Kauai native and a longtime Hilo resident who was awarded the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions during the Battle of Italy where he single-handedly destroyed three enemy machine guns. The range of services provided at the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home are designed to meet the unique needs for the veterans about half of whom are 65 and older, whose experiences may continue to impact their physical and emotional health long after their services to our country has ended. Aloha and mahalo to everyone who helped make Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home a success. Mahalo for honoring our veterans to dedicated and compassionate care. With warmest regards, Governor David Y. Ige. Thank you very much. Fresh, thank you so much. Mayor Kim, uh, you did uh, allude to it, but you have declared today the proclamation Yukio Okutsu Veterans Home Day. So a big round of applause for that proclamation here on our beautiful island of Hawaii. At this time, we have another message. Colonel Neil Mitsuyoshi, the chief engineer of the State of Hawaii Department of Defense, the 103rd Troop Commander and Department of Defense Legislative Officer. Thank you, and uh, good morning. Uh, Mayor Kim, it's always great to see you. Um, both um, Dr. Belcher, Dan Burkham, and to all the veterans, family members, officials and staff of the Hilo Medical Center in Avalon, and friends of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. It is always nice to find an excuse to come back home to Hilo, and this is a great one. It is especially nice when you're surprised to find that your dad's in attendance. I I'm not exactly sure why um, my dad's here, um, but I am happy to see him. I, I just hope that as great as the facility this is, I hope he's not here to check in to the Yukio Kutsu Center. <laughs> and I hope he's just here to check on his son, because um, I think dad still do that even at my age. 
Although my very good friend and the biggest advocate I know for veterans, um, OVS Director Ron Hahn, could not be here today, I am truly grateful for the opportunity to speak in his place. Being born in Hilo, knowing family and friends who have depended upon this veteran's home, and having personally been involved as a young engineer on this project makes me feel deeply honored and humbled to see how successful the Okutsu team has been. This home is a success story and is very important to our veterans and their families and the Big Island community. Whenever we are celebrating a significant achievement, I think it is important to reflect upon the past. This care home would not have been possible if not for the commitment of our veterans and our state and congressional leaders. It was spearheaded, as mentioned earlier, by our late Senator Inouye and his astute vision, along with retired Senator Akaka, who was also very instrumental as a member of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee and the support of the late Congresswoman Patsy Mink, and all, and the, and all of whom worked together to turn this idea into reality. I don't think it's common knowledge, but Yukio Kutsu State Veterans Home was strategically and purposefully built in Hilo. What I mean by this is, Senator Inouye believed that although Oahu had the largest veterans population, he purposefully wanted the first veterans home to be in Hilo and be built on the outer island. Because he knew getting funding for a home on the outer island would be much more difficult, he believed that he could always find a way to obtain the funding to build one on Oahu. And through his vision, the Okio Yukutsu Veterans Home has established the model for state veterans homes in Hawaii. This home set the standard by receiving a five-star rating and has paved the way, just as Senator Inoue had envisioned, for a second state veterans home on the island of Oahu. And the state is also working towards a third state veterans home on the island of Maui. I also wanted to share a few words about the amazing soldier, Sergeant Yukio Kutsu, who was a member of the famed 442nd Regiment Combat Team. And there is no doubt that Sergeant Otsuku Okutsu clearly distinguished himself in combat. On numerous occasions, as mentioned earlier, there was even one instance where he single-handedly took out three machine gun emplacements at Mount Belvedere to protect his platoon, earning him our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. However, very few people know who Yukio Okutsu was, because when it came to talking about himself or his heroics, he was a man of few words. And on rare occasions, when he did share his story and what he did in World War II, he would say that he didn't recall too many details and that he was only doing his job. I personally believe that Sergeant Okutsu was an extremely modest and humble soldier and human being. In so many ways, Sergeant Okutsu was emblematic of his generation and of the peers who served with him. So many soldiers who served in the 142nd could be described in a similar way, quiet, modest, seemingly ordinary men doing extraordinary things under extraordinary circumstances. When the war was over, they returned home, quietly resuming their lives, raising their families, helping to make Hawaii what it is today. All of us owe so much to these soldiers, not just for what they did during the war, but for also what they did in helping lead the way for Hawaii to move from a territory to a state. It is so fitting in the same way returning veterans like Sarno Kutsu paved the way for Hawaii's future the Yukio Kutsu State Veterans Home is the model that is paving the way for the state's second veterans home. This is also why celebrating ceremonies like this 10 year anniversary are so important. It gives us all a moment to remember and honor men like Sergeant Okutsu and all the veterans that have served. Remember their precious debt we owe, but can never fully repay. To those veterans and their family members who have made extraordinary sacrifices, 
and rely and depend on a facility like the one we are here today at. There are over 121,000 veterans in the state of Hawaii, and we currently still have a shortfall of 170 beds for our veterans that need long-term care home. The good news is that we've already started working on developing the next veterans home on Oahu, which will add an additional 95 beds to the state. And we currently have over 25 million in state funds already appropriated, along with over 37 million in matching federal grants. All of this made possible through the support of our state legislators and the vision and leadership of our governor, Governor Ige, who had the foresight to include this project in his very first year in office. We also need to thank the continuous support of our exceptional congressional delegation, Senator Hirono, Senator Schatz, and Congresswoman Gabbard. The DOD and OVS have already begun working with constituents like the Hawaii Healthcare Systems Corporation, the University of Hawaii, the Department of Accounting and General Services to complete the site selection planning and concept of the design. Although it's a long road ahead of us, the new state veterans home will help reduce the state's long-term care demand, provide care to veterans and their families at no operational or maintenance cost to the state, boost the economy by providing jobs, and support the University of Hawaii School of Medicine by providing opportunities for clinical and professional training for its students. There is much to celebrate on this 10-year anniversary of the Yukio Kutsu State Veterans Home. It has not only laid the foundation for continued support to our veterans, but it has also been the catalyst that will help the entire state of Hawaii. Thank you for allowing me to share this day with you, and uh, thank you again to our state leaders, past and present, the dedicated Okutsu Veterans Home Team, and the always supportive Hilo community. The last 10 years have been remarkable, and because of you, we are optimistically looking forward to the next 10. It's been my honor to be a part of this ceremony. Um, thank you and aloha. Big round of applause. Thank you for your continued service, Colonel Hanil Matsuyoshi. Very nice remarks indeed. A message from Senator Maisie Hirono, delivered here by Anne Ebusono. Eb <laughs> Ebusuno the uh, Senator Office Representative. Wow, it's like I don't know you. <laughs> Good morning. On be, um, from the office of the United States Senator, Maisie K. Hirono, thank you for inviting us to this celebratory event. It is really an honor and privilege to be here. This message is in honor of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home 10th Anniversary Celebration. Aloha and welcome to everyone attending the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home 10th Anniversary Celebration. I join, in grateful, uh, I join a grateful nation in honoring our veterans. We salute your service, your sacrifice, and your courage in defending the state of Hawaii and our nation. As the only state veterans home in Hawaii, the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home serves as a critical resource to Hawaii Island veterans and their families. As we celebrate 10 years of continuous care, we also honor namesake Technical Sergeant Yukio Okutsu, who earned the Medal of Honor for his heroic actions as part of the 100th Infantry Battalion during World War II. Last November, I was proud to have worked with Okutsu State Veterans Home to pass Senate Bill 324, the State Veterans Home Adult Day Health Care Improvement Act in the United States Senate. This le legislation would ensure that disabled veterans are able to receive adult day health care services at the Okutsu State Veterans Home at no cost to them. As a member of the Senate Committees on Armed Services and Veterans Affairs, I will continue to work for all members of our military and veterans to safeguard programs which provide, to, 
provide access to high quality health care, social services, and benefits. Mahalo to the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home for your dedication to our veterans and their families. My best wishes for continued success. Sincerely, Maisie K. Hirono, United States Senator. Thank you very much, Ann. Continuing, we have another message. This is from Senator Brian Schatz and delivered by Office Representative Ian Takashiba. Good afternoon. On behalf of United States Senator Brian Schatz, I extend my warmest greetings of aloha and welcome to everyone gathered to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home. Since its founding in 2008, the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home has provided critical services to Hawaii's disabled veterans. Your work helps ensure that disabled veterans and their families receive the care, resources, and support that they need. Your organization not only offers nursing care and health, or health services, but also activities that foster connections between your residents and the Hilo community. To the veterans in attendance, I join the Hilo community, our state, and our country in thanking you for your service. Our veterans have been, made many sacrifices for our country and it is only right that they receive the assistance that they have earned. Mahalo for your dedication to Hawaii's veterans and their loved ones. Best wishes for a memorable event. Mahalo, Brian Schatz, United States Senator. Mahalo, Ian. We have an additional message. This is from U.S. Representative Tulsi Gabbard. She writes, Aloha Kako. Homakai to the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home upon celebrating 10 years of service to our veterans and our entire Hilo community. As Hawaii's only acute care and rehabilitation series provider, specifically designed to serve the special needs of our veterans, your work is invaluable to empowering our veterans to lead high quality lives with respect and dignity. Throughout our nation's history, we have been kept safe through the actions of the few whose selfless service, vigilance, and loyalty epitomize what it means to be an American. It is our responsibility to honor that service and sacrifices by caring for each and every one of our veterans and their families and empowering them to be successful when they return home. That is the mission of the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home day in and day out. Your work to provide 24-hour skilled nursing that caters to the physical and emotional health of our veterans is directly helping Hawaii's veterans in positive, life-changing ways every single day. Mahalo for your service to our nation's heroes and their families. In recognition of all those who served and sacrificed, let us renew our sacred commitment to those who have answered our country's call. May we find peace and be forever grateful for all our servicemen and women who are memorialized, not only in medals and memories, but in the heart of a grateful nation. Mahalo nui to the Yukio Okutsu State Veterans Home for reaching this momentous 10-year milestone. Best wishes for your continued success and mission for service of many more decades to come. With sincere gratitude, Tulsi Gabbard, Congressman, Congresswoman rather, Big round of applause. Thank you very much. At this time, we call back the Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Challenge Academy Hilo for the retiring of the colors. As they make their way, we'd like to take a special mahalo to the staff of the Yukio Kutsu State Veterans Home who put this all together, the tents and our refreshments. A big round of applause for the staff and the management, excellent job for all those involved. Again, they're getting set for the retiring of the colors. Well, one more big round of applause for our veterans here in attendance. Thank you so much for your sacrifice. I think we may have thrown them a little bit of a curveball as they're getting their helmets back. Retirement of the colors, we invite you to stay for refreshments and fellowship. And again, uh, beautifully decorated by the staff here. 
at the Yukio Okutu State Veterans Home. All right, here they go. They're getting it together there. All right. Again, we bring you the Hawaii Army National Guard Youth Challenge Academy for the retiring of the color. Please rise. And again, a round of applause for the uh, Yuki Okutsu State Veterans Home. It's 10th year anniversary celebration. You are here. Thank you very much. My name is J.E. Orozco. We invite you to please stay for refreshments and fellowships and maybe talk story with some of our veterans. Thank you again, and please enjoy. Aloha.